everyone, I'm Lauren Andrego. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The fourth ranked and undefeated St. Thomas football team heads to St. Peter this Saturday to face the 4-4 Gustavus Gusties. Last week, tight end Jackson Hall caught two passes for 84 yards in a 27-6 victory over the Bethel Royals. Defensive back Mark Dowdle intercepted a Bethel pass, his first of the season. I'm joined today by Coach Glenn Caruso, Jackson Hall, and Mark Dowdle. Guys, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank thanks for having us. Coach, you pulled off a great win considering Bethel's strong defense mm -hmm. on Saturday. How do you now build on that performance through the rest of the season? Not that tough to do when you consider that Bethel games, regardless of what either team's score or record is going into the game, have always been phenomenal games. Um, hats off to them and their staff and the team they put together. It's, as I said last week, our favorite, one of our favorite games of the year to play. And I think both defenses performed admirably. Certainly theirs did, uh, making our offense kind of wait to the third quarter before it got in gear. But on the flip side, uh, 97 plays defended for our defense and only allowing six points is pretty awesome too, Lauren. Yeah, absolutely. And on the offensive side, Jackson, what did you and the rest of the team say or do at halftime to turn around your game after such a low-scoring first half? Well, it was, it was kind of weird and funny. We were all in like such a calm mood. Um, and then we all were talking about how we need to get in that high gear. We really need to change gears. Like Coach Crusoe just said, like changing that gear. Our adjustments are key to like this, the, next, the second half. So if you get the adjustments, what, what the line's doing, what the wide receiver's doing. Because if we get those adjustments down, then it's, that's basically what we had to do. And it was big for us. That's why 27-6. Yeah, great. Thanks. Mark, with postseason nearing, how does the team prepare, prepare for high-level offensive teams when you don't necessarily see that in conference play? I think we just prepare like we do every week. I mean, we play the best team in the country every day in practice, so I think we just continue to work on ourselves and not really focus too much on who we're playing, but just focus on getting better within our team and go from there. Great. And Coach, only two games left in the regular season, right. believe it or not, because Davis and St. Olaf in what aspect does the team most need to improve to secure that undefeated regular season? I think the biggest thing for us, not just <clears throat> for these two weeks and the, and the wins, but just for where our program is right now, we've got to start following um, kind of the lead of the, the team or the group that's ahead of us. So, for instance, our offense, defense, and special teams has played well together at times, but not often enough. Uh, when you see them kind of flowing sequentially off one another, there's an interception and the offense punches it in and the kickoff team goes out there. And, and when that happens, that kind of symbiotic relationship, that's when we're at our best and that's really what we need to do the next two weeks is sort of get in that rhythm. Great. Yep. We'll be back after this short message. Barbers learn the traditional techniques of barbering. We utilize straight edge razors. We do a lot of clipper cuts, a lot of tapering, fading. I've been in this location for 12 years. I have uh, clients that have been cutting their hair since they were four years old. Get to have conversations with these kids and it keeps me on my toes. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Jackson and Mark. Junior Jill Kolazinski wants to know, what is your favorite post-game meal? Um, post-game meal, usually it's the parents are giving us the post-game meal, so whatever they have. I mean, it's pizza. Pizza's always nice. That's probably basically what we always eat, so that's probably my favorite meal. And then, I mean, don't have my ranch, but, you know, pizza's <laughs> good. <laughs> um, I would say my favorite meal would just be a nice bacon cheeseburger. Get nice. some meat in the system. Nice. Classic. Coach? Got a favorite? Uh, I don't really eat too much on game day. Um, my stomach just doesn't tolerate it too well, either before or after. Sunday morning breakfast is probably the first time I feel right again. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's weird. Boy. I know. <laughs> well, thanks, guys, so much for coming in. Thank Good you. luck this weekend. Appreciate Looking you. forward Thank to the you. game. Thank you. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thanks for joining us. And be sure to check Tommy Media all day Saturday for full football coverage as the Tommies take on Gustavus Adolphus College. With Glenn Caruso, Jackson Hall, and Mark Dottle, I'm Lauren Andrego. We'll see you next time in The Locker.